What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon X walkthrough. Okay, so it's finally time to capture the legendary bird in this game right here. Now, the legendary bird all depends on the starter Pokemon that you get. Knowing that, you know, I got myself a Froakie, I'm going to get the one weakest to mine, which is Moltres, which I showed you guys a few episodes ago. Now, here's a few things about this roaming Pokemon in Pokemon X and Y. It all depends on what Pokemon you get. It's usually the weakest one through the typing that you get. The other thing, too, is that you have to locate it 10 times in order to actually try and capture it and everything. Now, if you guys haven't noticed, when you meet up against this uh, legendary bird Pokemon right here, it automatically flees right away. you kind of wondering, what, 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 what do you need to do right here? Now, when I found this out, this was just, to me, it was BS. And that's where I completely stopped playing the game. Because I was like, hey, you know, I finished it. I finished it all, but since I'm doing this walkthrough and I, I did say I was going to capture it, I might as well do it, right? Now, off screen, I did check up on a few videos on how to capture these legendary Pokemon, and it is just simple. It is so simple, guys. Uh, we're going to use the same method that we were taught back in the Johto games with the very first uh, roaming Pokemon, which were the uh, legendary uh, dogs or the legendary beasts. All you need to do now is just get yourself a max repel. Grab yourself a Pokemon below level 70, and boom, you'll find it right away. Now, the easiest place to find uh, this Pokemon is through Santa Loon City, I believe, right here. Now, off screen, I did locate it nine times. I'm not going to waste my time locating it ten times around here. Trust me, guys. Off screen, when I found this out, I did the same trick with my two other Pokemon uh, X and Y walkthrough, or X and Y uh, copies. And I found the other two legendary Pokemon right there. It's very, very simple, guys. So now what we're going to do is we're going to just waste some time right here. And uh, well, we're going to locate this Pokemon right here. So we're going to be using a Max Repel. That way, you know, it gets us through and all that stuff. And don't worry, guys. Uh, Flood Volt right here, it is at level 68, I believe. 69, 68, 69. It doesn't really matter. It's just below level 70 right here. Now, I'm just trying to find that Max Repel. I believe I bought myself a buttload of uh, Max Repels right here now. I can only find it. Good God. It's a lot of Pokeballs. Where the heck are you, Max Repel? It would be here somewhere. Good God. Okay, so let's see. There it is. Discount uh, right here. Uh, okay, well, we got a Super Repel right here. Hold on. How many Super Repels did we get? Nine Super Repels. Okay, so it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be that much, okay? So we're going to be using a Super Repel right here. And then we're going to be using our bike. Not that guy. Going to be using our bike, and like I said before, off screen, I found it nine times. This would be the tenth time right here. So all you need to do is go through the entrance, go right here on Route 4, go back down, and you'll be able to find this guy in no time. It just it takes a while, guys, especially when you have to find it ten times. Now, for me, it was like, okay, well, if I have to locate this Pokemon ten times... Why couldn't they just put an app on the bottom screen, just like they did in Pokemon Platinum, where, you know, you can actually find the legendaries and where they're at, instead of just blindly going up and down right here. But, you know, it's X version. This was the first Pokemon game, alongside Y, that would uh, actually be featuring 3D and all that stuff. So they, 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 couldn't put, they, put, they couldn't put everything in there right now. And as you can see, we've already used up three repels right here, so I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to lie, guys. It took me... You're going to have to buy yourself a buttload of uh, repels in order to actually find this Pokemon uh, about 10 times. So I'm going up and down. I'm showing you guys the last time on how to do it. I'm just showing you guys. And then after that, we're going to go straight to the cave to locate it. And luckily for us, we still have a Master Ball. So that is the plan. I'm. This is the only Pokemon that I'm probably going to be capturing with a Master Ball. So, yeah. Now, to be quite honest, in this game... I think the Master Ball is a little bit useless now that, you know, the catch rate for all these legendary Pokemon has gone up a little, or down, or whatever you like to say, because, you know, they're so easy to capture. I just caught myself, uh, what was it? Caught Xerneas is pretty easy. Evil Tull is just the same way. And then you got uh, Zygarde, you know, same Pokemon, just a little tougher. All you need to do is just buy yourself some Dust Balls, Timer Balls, and all that stuff, and you'll be... It'll be easier to capture these guys, especially Mewtwo, which, you know, initially, this guy was like, what? The only Pokeball that could actually work against that guy was a Master Ball. Now we've gone through quite a few generations, and now look at this. So this is the tenth time we've found Moltres, and as you can see, 
Just like you found it in the first time, it's gonna be like this. Nothing's happening right now. Black screen on the bottom. And right there and then, Moltres has fled. So, I do believe this is the 10th time we've actually found this guy. So now, after you located Moltres, Zapdos, or Articuno, depending on what Pokemon you started with, you can go straight to the National Dex, and all you need to do now is locate that legendary Pokemon. As you can see, once Moltres, once Moltres is uh, located on the top, uh, top part of the screen right there of the of the uh, what you call it the of the map, that's when you know that is the place it's going to be stationary at. So since it's already been ten times, let's go right ahead and go straight to that place because we need to capture this legendary Pokemon. We need to finish this walkthrough right away. So. Good thing for us, we still got Godzilla, Godzilla, and well, let's go right here. The Sea Spirit, no, okay, it's a Sea Spirit Den. It's pretty much an empty place. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Shalur City because remember in uh, Kumarine City, I think that's what it was called, uh, the Pokemon Center is way, uh, it's, a, it's, it's at a separate place from the initial place where you need to go, if that makes any sense. So here we are, Shalur City, birthplace, or, you know, initial uh, grounds of the Mega Evolution, and now, we're just gonna be skating through, having some fun. Oh man, this, this, this right here is a momentous event right here, guys, because holy crud, I cannot believe it. Uh, you know, when I found out that you had to capture this legendary, or any of the legendary birds 10 times, or you have to, yeah, you have to locate them. It, to me, it was like, that's bullshit right there because how am I going to find these legendary Pokemon 10 times? And, you know, it, to me, it was like the end of the world because it was like, dude, I'm not going to waste my time trying to find these, these Pokemon 10 times. But then I realized that, you know, it, I, I've had quite a few uh, experiences as a Pokemon trainer and, uh, you know... Yeah, I was more I was more thinking harder than smarter if that if that makes any sense so good thing we have YouTube good thing YouTube teaches us uh, how to do stuff like making walkthrough videos uh, how to cook and all that stuff you know it's really revolutionized our way of uh, you know doing things it really has so praise to YouTube right there yeah just a little bit of it uh, anywho but yeah ever since I watched the video of uh, how to how to find the legendary birds it's just become a little bit easier it's just a little time consuming that's pretty much what it is right there so all we need to do now is go to the sea spirit den sea spirit den this is the empty cave that you know we initially went through same place where we actually found the uh afro site right here so now you got to do is enter and what actually happens is that there's no pokemon right there but what you need to do is you're gonna need to go down the middle and bam okay so here it is guys, the 11th and final time that we're meeting up against the legendary bird Moltres and as you can see now it's exerting its pressure right here and uh, well, I'm not really going to battle it, I'm just going to let it hit me quite a few times just to show you guys what kind of attacks it has, so let's go ahead and use this NX speed, look at this, X speed, making my Pokemon a little faster and yeah, Moltres does have heat wave. So let's go ahead and use another X attack right here, since, you know, it's probably the only time I'm ever going to use it. Let's go with an X attack. Alright, what else do you have, Moltres? And it has Air Slash. Look at this. Bam. Not so effective, but, yeah, it still, it still stings. So, like I said, guys, I only have one Master Ball. I might as well use it on this one Pokemon right here. So here we go. Master Ball. Take it away. Yeah, buddy. Stay in the ball. Stay in the fucking ball. Stay. Stay. Yes! So there it is, guys. We caught ourselves the final legendary Pokemon of this entirety, entire game, I should say. And uh, it's a pretty nice one. The mascot for the initial Pokemon League and all that stuff. And as you can see, Moltres, the flame Pokemon, fire and flying type. Six feet, 132 pounds of pure flames. It is said to be the legendary bird of fire. Every flap of its wings creates a dazzling flare of flames. That is freaking awesome. Okay, so that is it right there, guys, for the legendary Pokemon itself. There's going to be nothing else in there. So what's going to happen now is we're going to actually go, go straight to a Pokemon Center because I kind of want to look at this Pokemon right here. I want to look, uh, look it up, uh, up and close. So let's go to uh, Kumarine Kumari, Kumari City. I can't even pronounce these things right. 
probably the reason why I had a little problem with speaking. Oh, damn. Okay, so let's go right here and... Well, here we are at Coomerang City. Okay, so let's go straight to our PC and take a look what we got inside. I'm not going to deposit a Pokemon right now. Okay, let's go right here. And let's go to uh, organize boxes. So, as you can see, Moltres, the fire and flying type Pokemon, has four very good moves. Safeguard, Air Slash, Sunny Day, and Heat Wave. Now, I did say early on in this, ep in this episode, I did capture the other two legendary Pokemon on two other copies of the, of the exact game. And I do believe Zapdos has Rain Dance and Discharge. So those are very good combinations right there in order for this guy to not, like, you know, evade, capture, and all that stuff. But let's go ahead and uh, take a look at its summary right here. As you can see, it does have pressure. Its special attack is like right there through the roof and all that crud. And yes, it does have a quiet nature and is quite mischievous and all that stuff. So that is pretty much it right there, guys. Um, off screen, I will be trading the other two legendary Pokemon onto this game right here. I am planning on trying to like finish up the, the, the Pokedex right here. Or at least just make it respectable and all that stuff. You know, I'm trying to get those two Pokemon in there. Now, I do have a little bit of a plan for later on. This is me talking plants and all that stuff now this is the fourth episode back in pokemon x and uh, you know like i said there's not a lot of uh you know uh, of uh, off screen or you know uh after game stuff that you need to do in pokemon x or y so what's going to happen next is we're going to be playing the looker event there is a looker event uh that's going to be uh, taking place in what was it santaloon city or no no not santaloon city uh what's that place called that big old city, Paris, France. Yeah, the Paris, France place. Uh, I don't know how many episodes that will be. I'm thinking it's probably going to be like three, maybe four, maybe five episodes. But then after that, that's it, guys. And we are completely done right here with Pokemon X. And, uh, well, if any of you guys are wondering when Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon is coming out, like I said in my posts, um, December 19th. Uh, currently right now, as I'm recording this, a month from now, December 19th is my 10 year anniversary in this uh, platform right here, YouTube. On that day, I will be coming out with at least 10 episodes of both po or of Pokemon Sun and Moon. And you guys will be seeing the starter, the adventure, and then we're going to hit the ground running. Again, guys, thank you for being supportive of this walkthrough. I mean, it's, took, it's taken a long time. And I truly feel redeemed just because, well, look, look how good we did. Look, I would—it's been—it's been good. I completed it in English version and all that stuff. Now, uh, are there any plans of making me of uh, me making a Pokemon Y walkthrough since I'm doing any I'm doing unnarrated unnar walkthroughs? Yes. So uh, a few months later, I don't know when when I do when I do have enough time, I will be doing a Pokemon Sun and Moon or not a Sun and Moon, but Pokemon Y walkthrough as an unnarrated unnar uh, uh, walkthrough right there. That way you guys can see. And yes, the internet's gone off. <laughs> But like I said, guys, yeah, there will be a, a Pokemon Y walkthrough further along the line, unnarrated, just to, just to show you the opposite of what goes on right here. I have a lot of plans, guys. I'm excited, and uh, you know what? I really do feel complete when it comes to these walkthroughs right here because, damn, never thought I could finally complete this in a proper way. So, again, guys, thank you for the support. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode, which will be the final five. I don't, I don't think it's going to be five. Final whatever episodes of Pokemon X. See you guys.